everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from Miami, Florida, my hometown. You know, I was born and raised in Miami. I'm 35 years old. I've eaten so many different dishes all around the city. The 305 has so many unique flavors and tastes. You got every type of cuisine here. And today I'm gonna tell you my 25 foods you must eat when you come to the 305. Are you guys ready? Let's dive into it. Let's kick off our rundown of the top dishes in Miami at Hate Monday's Tavern, an epic southern barbecue joint in Kendall that's known for serving some of the best ribs in the city. Their stuffed pork loin is off the charts amazing, and their chicharron are crunchy, tender, and spicy. But the star of the show are the ribs, which smoke for five to six hours and don't come topped with a lot of sauce, which allows a savory flavor and the juicy texture of the meat to shine through. They're downright heavenly. Look at that, it just rips out. You don't need a fork or yeah. nothing, and look, it's still. Dude, the bone just slips out. Yep, it's crazy. And then a little smoke comes out. No mm. If you have a hankering for some good Italian food in the 305, look no further than Made in Italy, a gourmet food truck that has been serving high quality from and inspired by the boot since 2017. Pizza fanatics will have a field day with their fluffy and light margarita pizza and truffle infused tricolore pizza. But my personal favorite was their truffle burger. It's made of top quality Angus beef and comes with caramelized onions, arugula, tomatoes, and creamy garlic cilantro sauce that will make your taste buds go wild. Mm. I'm an old fashioned girl. Yeah. I need the beef. We need the beef. I need the beef. But if South Asian food is more your jam, I suggest heading over to Rin Asian Cuisine, a local spot that is known for its authentic Thai dishes and cooking methods. Their gingery and spicy nam sot and crispy duck with coconut curry are absolutely incredible and their khao soy is on a whole other level. This creamy and crunchy sun noodle dish contains crispy fried katsu chicken and a mouth-watering sauce that comes together like a marriage made in heaven. Coconut milk, can't beat it. Mm-hmm. Oh, one piece of chicken. Mm. Fresh seafood is a staple in South Florida. From oysters to stone crabs to lobster, Miami has it all. One of the best spots for fresh treats from the sea is the Lobster Trap, a gourmet seafood truck that uses locally sourced ingredients. Their elote fries topped with fried shrimp, fried fish, and fried lobster make for a tasty appetizer. And the original and lobster truffle rolls are meaty and succulent. But the main attraction is the lobster and shrimp burger, which comes topped with the cilantro garlic sauce, harvati cheese, and coleslaw for, for a creamy and crunchy seafood experience you won't soon forget. When you think of Miami, food from the Balkans probably isn't your first thought. But if you're looking to try some hearty, meaty fare from the region of Southeastern Europe, stop at Rakia Grill. This farmhouse style restaurant serves a number of favorites from the region, including goulash, burak, sarma, chivap chichi, and kara georgieva schnitzel. You also should not miss their rakia, a special type of brandy that is made from a variety of fruits including pears, apples, berries, grapes, and peaches. Their pliskavisa, also known as the Serbian burger, is a monstrous beef patty stuffed with cheese and eaten with bread and a red pepper paste called arva. It's earthy, juicy, cheesy, and oh, so good. I could eat all, all day long. I mean, all day? The street, like street food? Yeah, amazing. This is like a street food. Miami is known for its massive Venezuelan population. So naturally, you can expect to find some amazing Venezuelan food spots in town. One of them is Doggy's Arepa Bar, a former hot dog stand that has evolved into a bastion of Venezuelan culture. Their warm, sweet corn cachaba with white cheese makes for an excellent breakfast, while the El Guru, which contains fried plantains, cheese, and creamy sauce is outstanding. You also must try their arepa de pabellon, a type of stuffed corn bake that contains shredded beef, plantains, black beans, and cheese. It's a full and hearty meal by itself. It's hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Está bueno. Mm. A él le gusta mucho el picante. Oh, I love Yo, it. 
Venezuela isn't the only South American country with a great representation here in Miami. To try some of the best Argentine food in town, head over to Fierro Argentine Grill, a fast casual spot that highlights the country's prominent meat culture. The Mantambra con Rusa or veal breast stuffed with carrots, parmesan, red peppers, parsley and egg is a unique layer dish with an addicting flavor profile. I also recommend the Parrilla Criolla, which is an Argentine meat skewer that contains chicken, chorizo, short ribs, flank steak, and a blood sausage called morcilla. If you still have room, try their Fierro Burger, which contains an unbelievable explosion of beef, caramelized onions, and bacon. All right, my friend, you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it together. Cheers, cheers. I swear I was gonna have one bite. I'm gonna finish this whole thing, man. Mm -hmm. mm. Vietnamese food is known for its fresh ingredients and bold flavors, which is exactly what Miss Saigon Bistro in Coral Gables is all about. From their crispy spring rolls to their mouth-watering sweet chili basil chicken wings, you can't really go wrong there. Their pho with oxtail, meatballs, tendons, and tenderloins is a fantastic hearty soup with an almost unreal amount of meaty, earthy flavor. But my go-to there is the Miss Saigon Bowl, a rice noodle bowl containing grilled pork, huge grilled shrimp, lettuce, bean sprouts, and a crunchy spring roll. The rich flavors and authentic cuisines are so immersive, you'd swear you're eating on the streets of Hanoi. I'm like a pro with this. I know you are, I'm not. <laughs> mm. Mm. Be honest, how many of you are familiar with the cuisine from Uzbekistan? If you're curious enough to try it, make a stop at the first authentic Uzbek restaurant in South Florida, Chahana Oasis. Both the decor and food will instantly transport you to this underrated Central Asian country. There you can find Uzbek favorites like langman, which is a type of beef and noodle stew with vegetables, manti dumplings stuffed with lamb, and somsas which are baked pastries stuffed with lamb and onion. I suggest the dolmas, which are earthy grape leaves stuffed with meat and rice. And the plov, a popular rice dish made with lamb, dried fruit, chickpeas, spices, and quail eggs. You can't beat it. Deep, deep, deep flavor, you know, with mm -hmm. the lamb. Lots of flavor, oily. I love the, the dried fruits in there. Mm -hmm. Gives it like a sweetness to it. We also have some chickpeas. Mm -hmm. mm. With so many Latin influences in the city, it might be hard to believe that it's pretty difficult to find some good Mexican food in Miami. The exception is Uptown 66 Taqueria in Little Haiti. Here the chefs are masters at sweets like churros and flan, as well as savory dishes like the chicken nachos with cotilla cheese, spring onions, roasted corn, and cilantro. But this eatery is best known for having the best tacos in Miami, including their oxtail, chicken, and bira tacos. They come wrapped in a corn tortilla with tomatillo and red sauces, as well as an oxtail consomme that gives the tacos an even meatier and heartier flavor. Cheers, bro. Cheers, Cheers. Bro. That is the best talk I've ever had in Miami. Mm -hmm. Wow. For an upscale take on Indian favorites, you can't go wrong by visiting Namaste Miami in Coral Gables. There you can try a variety of favorites in their tali, which is an Indian platter containing several different dishes that are meant to be eaten together. The lamb, creamy raita, crispy samosa, and smoky tandoori chicken wings are fantastic starters. You also must dive into their crispy and crunchy papti cha, their meaty lamb rogan josh, creamy kadai paneer, and savory chicken tikka masala. Everything there is so authentically delicious, it's easy to eat way too much. I know from experience. Here I sort of made a big mess with all the stuff, right? Just mixed everything together. If you get a big piece, get some, you know, some gravy. Mm-hmm, mm, super spice. Another cuisine you probably wouldn't immediately associate with Miami is Persian cuisine, which comes from the country of Iran. You can get a taste of authentic Persian cuisine at our next stop, Shahs of Kebab in South Miami. As you might expect, kebabs reign supreme there. From filet mignon, to chicken, to shrimp, 
The menu's highlight is the kubide, a type of kebab made of juicy chunks of lamb and beef and is eaten with bread and creamy tzatziki-like sauce. It's fatty, fresh, and savory, and pairs perfectly with the restaurant's nutty and fruity salads. It's uh, very refreshing, especially in hot weather. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect salad for hot weather. We'll try a little bit more. Mm. Very crunchy, very moist. Well. Chilean cuisine might not be well represented in Miami as Venezuelan or Argentine food, but you can still find some at one of my favorite local restaurants, Sabores Chilenos in West Miami Dade. You can try a number of Chilean style empanadas, including chicken, beef, and cheese, as well as their humita, which is a tamale like dish that contains corn mash basil, and a meat mixture called sofrito. But by far, the star of the show is their pastel de choclo, a sweet, salty, and savory casserole-like dish made from beef, ground corn, and onions. It's a flavor bomb, and its hearty texture will have you salivating for more. Please, I was gonna right have here. a little bite. Just a little bite? Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Pumpkin. Another flavor-packed cuisine you can find in Miami is Cajun food, closely associated with Louisiana and featuring West African, Spanish, and French influences. You can find Cajun cuisine at Cajun Boyle on Flagler Street and the Brickell Financial District. Whether you're looking for a soft-shell crab po' boy, fried alligator bites, or frog legs, you'll find it there. Their charboiled oysters contain a healthy amount of garlic, Parmesan cheese, and breadcrumbs and their combo containing lobster tail, Alaskan snow crabs, Cajun sausage, and mussels is a must for any seafood lover. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, that Cajun sausage. Oh, with that spice. The spice level's great. This is on fire. Mediterranean food is one of my favorite cuisines on the planet, and one of my favorite spots in Miami to enjoy is at Nostrimo Greek Kitchen in Wynwood. Its blue and white interior will transport you straight to the island of Santorini, as will the food, which includes a kebab-like dish called souvlaki, and Greek fries topped with chicken, feta, and tzatziki. I highly recommend the lamb and beef gyro, which contains onions, crispy fries, and tzatziki, as well as the Nutella baklava, which is full of walnuts and a decadent hazelnut flavor. Mm. So satisfying, huh? So delicious. Mm. Another top Indian spot in Miami also happens to be a halal friendly joint called Akash on South Beach. The upscale Indian food served there includes northern and southern favorites, including lamb vindaloo, fish madras, tandoori shrimp, and chicken lollipop. You can't beat their succulent masala crab cakes, which come packed with large, fresh chunks of crab meat or their fish madras curry, which combines flaky fish, rich masala, and creamy coconut milk in one unbelievable drool-worthy dish. Mm. Oh wow, man. The curry with the coconut milk and the super soft flesh of this fish. Wow. You gotta mix it, right? Yeah. So you mix it like this, yeah. you get it with three fingers. Yep. Mm. If you head over to the Bird Road Arts District, you'll find an incredible American Latin fusion spot called Are You Hungry Grill. There, you'll find a number of American favorites with a Latin twist, including their Frida Cubana, a burger that contains a five ounce Wagyu beef patty and Mexican chorizo. I also recommend their burrito, which contains tender chicken, beans, gallo pinto, and rice inside and has a melted cheese crust on the outside. Dip it into a creamy garlic sauce for an extra layer of intense flavor. It's like the ultimate burrito. You have one of these, that's your meal. You're done. Mm. Miami has direct access to a wide variety of fresh tropical fruits, from mangoes to papayas to guavas to coconut. You can take full advantage of the local fruit scene at Pepito's Cafe, an amazing spot in downtown Miami, not far from the Miami River. There you can try a number of fresh fruit juices and smoothies made entirely from local produce. I recommend their papaya juice, which is sweet and refreshing and full of vital vitamins and enzymes as well as their mixed fruit smoothie, which has a creamy and tropical kick. I got the mixed fruit. 
Wow, what delicious smoothie. So it's not like a real milkshake. This is straight fruit. So whatever you want, right? So they have it right in front. They have all these like mixed fruit uh, salads right there. You choose and he'll make it for you if he doesn't have it right. They don't, and they don't add any sugar to it whatsoever. It's all natural. Middle Eastern food is another that prioritizes fresh ingredients and spices that pack a real punch. One of my favorite spots to try a mix of Lebanese, Turkish, and Greek food in town is Original Daily Marketplace in Coconut Grove. Middle Eastern favorites like falafel, hummus, tabbouleh, baba ganoush, and dalmates are among the best items on their menu as is their Greek spinach pie called Spanakopita. Their kibe, which is a delicious crispy beef fritter, is perfect with a bit of tzatziki. And their baklava is truly on another level. Mm. This is my favorite. Mm -hmm. At just 90 miles from Florida's southern tip, it's no surprise that the island of Cuba has had a huge impact on Miami's culture. To taste the flavors of Cuba in Miami, grab some lunch at Casa Cuba, a spot in South Miami that specializes in the island's cuisine. Their Cuban coffee is a must, especially their café con leche, which you eat with a buttered bread called tostada. I also recommend their jamón serrano croquettes and their guava and cheese pastelitos. And for a heavier option, try their papa rellena, a fried and mashed potato with ground beef inside. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Miami's Little Havana neighborhood is legendary for its Cuban cuisine and culture. And Old Havana Cuban Bar and Cocina is one of the reasons why. Start off with their picadillo tostones before diving into a Cuban sandwich, which is grilled on a plancha and contains roasted pork, ham, Swiss cheese, pickles, and mustard. The combination of the meat, melted cheese, and golden crispy bread is considered one of Miami's signature dishes. If you don't eat a Cuban sandwich in Miami, you didn't experience Miami. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're a farm here. Miami's Latin inspired food culture can be heavy on meat. But if you're vegan or vegetarian, visiting the 305, there's still great options if you look hard enough. In Southern Miami-Dade County, near Miami Executive Airport, is Sunday Coffee and Conscious Eatery, a vegan food truck that promises and delivers on explosive, vibrant flavors. Their artichoke toast and grilled parata with green mango amba are fantastic starters. But the grilled orzo salad is out of this world. The rice-like pasta mixed with olive oil, cherry salsa verde, avocado, and mushroom is a filling and flavorful treat that will have you salivating from the very first bite. Dude, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go try it this. like this first. Yeah? I don't know. I like to have some type of sauce. Mmm. Which that one are you Mmm. If sushi is more your jam, never fear, because the incredible people at Kraken Crudo have you covered. It's considered the sushi mecca of Midtown Miami and is known for the eclectic creations, including its tuna pizzas with caviar and honey and nori tacos, which have a fantastic seaweed shell and a creamy and briny filling. The tuna truffle roll with arugula, steamed shrimp, crab, and goat cheese is a winner. And their unique Oreo roll is an amazing dessert that contains Oreo cookies, kiwi, and strawberries. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was good. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, sorry. sorry. You're good. I'm just like thinking how good it is in my mind. The flavors of Thailand are as varied as they are delicious, but one constant is the spice. If your taste buds like a kick of heat like mine do, head out to Siam Bistro, where you can try their Pla Ma Muang, a delicious crispy snapper in a rich mango and red pepper curry. But you must also try their phenomenal three friendship dish which is made up of Thai barbecued chicken with sticky rice and a crunchy, fiery papaya salad. The fresh green papayas, chilies, garlic cloves, and peanuts work really well together. But be warned, this dish has some real heat to it. My friend here wants me to taste the amazing fruit. Look at this. Last but certainly not least is my favorite burger joint in all of Miami. Clutch Burger in Coral Gables. Known for their elevated take on classic burgers, Clutch Burger is the home of the Swolf Burger, the Vegan Impossible Burger, and others. 
but they're also known for their insane shut the clutch up food challenge which dares participants to eat a burger made up of six, yes, six Wagyu beef patties, 12 slices of cheese, two onion rings, and a fluffy brioche bun, along with their large milkshake and a pound of steak fries in just 15 minutes. If you win, you can get one free burger per month for an entire year. So if you love a good burger, now you know where to go. It's so good, the cheese, man. Mmm, the two cheeses mixed right there. Incredible. Mm. And that's it, my friends. 25 incredible places you must eat at in Miami. From Argentine to Venezuela, and you got Cuban, you have American. I mean, what a huge mix of cultures. I mean, the flavors, the textures. Oh, man, I have to go and eat some more food very soon all around my city. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. and Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And please let me know, what else do you want to see here in Miami? What? restaurants what cuisine more ethnic food african food you got haitian food we have a huge mix i'm ready to dive into more incredible food here in the 305 let's go peace